Good morning, hello, and welcome to Friday. I'm still trying out ideas for an intro. Maybe that'll stick, I don't know. So I'm up in the top of the garage today, which where my old man runs his sort of eBay shenanigan from, because I've got to send this lens back. So I'm just going to wrap it up and send it off. Zombies are coming. Man up his office. That might be too cheesy to include in the vlog. Thanks. Okay, I'd like to send this, please. Cheers, dude. See you later. Oh. Just found the purse on the street. I'm going to include it in the vlog. So, I'm going to see if there is any ID in here. Close that. And membership, not on card. Come on, there's got to be some ID. I don't think he's just got to have a name on. Helen Robottom. There's a driver's license, there'll be an address on it. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 quid in there. That's staying in there because I'm an honest chap. Um, Helen Robottom, right. So I'm going to put this over there and I'm going to see if I can find Helen Robottom on Facebook. So I uh, had a quick look through the post scan. There is literally nothing with any other name apart from Helen Robottom. No address, nothing that can lead me to where I should take this purse. So I found a person called Helen Robottom, which there's three of them on Facebook. Two of them live absolutely miles and miles away. One of them there's no location, but it, it came up first, so I'm assuming that's the closest. So it may be her purse. I was a bit case and I still that. So um, I sent her a message have had no reply yet. And I'm still sat here baking in the hot sun in this car, like a dog in a hot car, waiting to see. Because if, if I'd lost something like this, I would come back and have a look at where I'd lost it, retrace my steps. So I'm just waiting to see if somebody turns up. And if somebody who looks like it might be a Helen, I'll jump out, shout Helen. If it isn't, I'll jump back in the car. If it is, I'll reunite her with a purse. Might be here for a while, though. I can entirely understand today how dogs die in hot cars. That's better. We are 40 minutes into the purse situation. It's really hot. I'm going to turn the fan off for a minute now, so my battery don't go flat. Let's turn the car around so I can see better. Lots of potential people have come past, but they've all been carrying purses and going into the post office. My keen detective skills tell me that isn't the right person. There's a girl here. Nope. So, oh, well, you no problem, yeah. so you lost the purse? 
I've lost a handbag. Lou. A handbag? Yes. So what's your last name? Helen Rawbottom, R-O-W. Uh, that was sat uh, outside by the uh, phone box. Yeah. Right, no I had a look to see if there were a name or anything just to. Uh, I don't have a handbag. Sorry, dude. I think you throw it because it left. I don't know if you dropped it. The mobile's not yeah. in. There were nothing. No, 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 all the this. mobile's gone in here. But I didn't know the password you got. Yeah, all that, all that I found with that. You dropped it probably from your bag. Yeah, it was probably open. Yeah. Maybe. I, what I did, I put the the bag on top of the car because oh. he was he was being naughty. All right, so to put it on the car, so yeah. I put, I and put, then you I've got off. a sandwich, yeah, and I put them on the car. I put him in his cool. seat. Sorry, it's pretty funny. And I forgot. <laughs> All right, oh, so that's that's yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. Well, I found it down there, and I just thought I'd just wait in my car in yeah. case whoever it was Good came yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. So. Right. Okay. So, so cool. Thank you for that. I'm, uh, I'm glad it found its it? way back to you. Everything's in there, it's all legit. Yeah. It's alright. Thank you. No, no. Huh? Not at all. Please. Put it back in there, dude. No, 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 it's okay. Just doing a good deed for the day, man. So everybody happy now? <laughs> <laughs> He's a person anyway. Problem solved, problem staying solved. No, no problem. Alright. Everybody happy, yeah? Yeah. Alright, we'll see you later, Helen. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. It's alright, anytime. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Good Bye. Good. Cheers, dude. There's not so many people around. So that's my good camera for the day. Um, I'm gonna. I thought I lost my wallet for a second there. <laughs> Head back home. Feels good to do some good shit. So yeah, um, everybody else you should uh, should always do good shit. Pass it on. <sighs> so I might look entirely out of breath right now. It's because I am, because the steering ECU, I think it's called, just died on my car again. This this one's only been in the car for about six months and it is just completely inexplicably broken. Which means there's no power steering, no normal steering, just hardcore drag it around. And it's reverse Susie onto the drive. That was difficult. Especially with this van parked here and that car over there. Because they're way in the way to get on the drive. <sighs> Just editing the first part of the vlog. I've, uh, I've got all the way up to handing the purse over and getting back with my broken car. Hey, that's the window cleaner. <laughs> Good times. Just occurred to me I was going to take my car to the car wash today. This guy just reminded me. My steering's broke so I might not be able to do it. Still quite keen to drive my car about, so I'm gonna go and check if the steering is still shit. Ooh, it's rather sunny outside. What's this? That was the pretty horse rider, the one who's quite fit. I can't help but look here instead of here. I'll try myself, I nearly stubbed myself with the key. So, when I turn my key, this red light stays on. It means steering is broken. It's still feeling pretty shitty. So, I'm It's making a flight noise. But it doesn't seem to be staying on. The only way to really test it is to drive it, I guess. Right back. Well, it seems to be working, but when I put pressure on it, it vibrates. I'm gonna take it for a spin in a minute and test it out. See what happens. Maybe wash my car. Probably close the door as well. I'll come back and do it. This is heavier than it looks. <laughs> Don't lift the key. That's what I'd wear, isn't it? Five-four camera. 
quick visit to my grandma's. Where mum? Hey. Hi. Hello. Sunshiny day. Yeah. Hey. Hello, Lee. You alright? Hi. See you later. You waving? Hi. <laughs> Plan, right? This is what I want to do. This wall that you're gracefully pulling the wallpaper off right now, from like here up to like here, yeah. I want to, um, there's messages coming up on my screen, I'm getting sidetracked. So I want to take all that wallpaper off and paint that perfect crystal white from like the ground all the way up to that line. Right. It's noisy as fuck out there, we have main road and a pub next door. So that wall will be perfectly white. Then I want to build a partition wall from the edge of this here, coming all the way out to here. Yeah. So it's flush with that floor, flush with that wall, and the edge of this border as well. And that's going to be perfectly white as well. I'm going to paper and paint that. Yeah. Then this wall, thinking of painting in a brighter colour. Yeah. Over the paper. Seems every day we come to Tesco or as the oh some yeah, supermarket. Is, uh... Wait, mum. <laughs> yeah, like every day, shopping. What we get him? Hi. Hi. I just it. needed a cash machine. Never take these escalators. Always take the stairs. I was watching one of Ben Brown's vlogs earlier and he was saying if you're going into a store like this just to get something to eat, never get one of these because you'll end up filling it with shit that you don't need. Spending way too much money. I'm doing the Casey Neistat thing again. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you only carry, if you only use your hands and don't take a basket, you can't carry all sorts of stuff that you don't really need. So you don't end up spending loads of money. So let's put that basket under a shelf. No? You might need it. Dill time. Dill? Yeah. A nice packet of dill. That was not a nice one. What date's on the wall? 14th of September. What date's on the back? Of the box. 14th. That one looks nice. That one looks nice. That's a nice one. Oh, that stinks. And I need some thyme on my hands. Look at all these vegetables you can eat if you're a fucking rabbit. Tweez. Broccoli's oh, alright. Sausage rolls, this is where they look pretty good. Let's get these. Oh, they're nice and healthy for you. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna try these things, I don't know what they are. Right there. That looks nice. There's an aisle full of Star Wars things. I totally need a Stormtrooper costume. <laughs> Check out the uh, snapback right here. <laughs> Just picking up an X Wing for the dashboard of Susie. It's gonna be good. X Wing time. Thank you. Blood card hijacking. Ha! And back down. Good to see you taking the steps, keeping fit. <laughs> Alright, I'm not too bad. Can I have the five pound special, please? No. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs>
to uh, dry off a little bit now. <laughs> That's freezing cold! <laughs> that really took my breath away.